Hey, what is going on you guys? It is Mr. No Sleep here from Old School RuneScape and welcome to a brand new loot video for you all today. So today I bring you guys an Iron Man style loot video. This one is loot from 1000 Tortured Gorillas. Released into the game May 6, 2016 and at a combat level of 141 and 142, the Tortured Gorilla is the weaker version of their counterpart, the Demonic Gorilla. Now, about two years ago almost, I did do loot from 1000 Demonic Gorillas, and if you want to check out that video, feel free to. It is in the description below, and it's not even 10 minutes long. That was back before I knew how much a 10 minute video made. Simpler times. But anyway, as you can see here, all the kills for this video were tracked on the gravestone at the very entrance of this area where you jump over and you have to run a little bit northeast into this tunnel here. And as you enter the tunnel, you can kind of see that the tortured gorillas are the very first things that you see. So you should never, almost never, uh, have have a problem with a demonic gorilla although there is demonic gorillas uh, near this area if you do run a little bit more to the east uh, there's only one that actually attacks you and that's if you get a little too close so you really shouldn't have to worry too much about them getting in your way and as you can see on screen you do have to change your prayer every four hits instead of every three hits just like the demonic gorilla these gorillas do have three different attack styles melee magic and range something unique about their melee attack is that it looks looks exactly like a range attack. It's literally the same boulder being thrown almost the same way, except there's just a slight difference in the animation, and it almost seems like the melee attack from these gorillas is shown faster than the range attack. I guess that was a little tricky to get used to, but after a few hundred kills, you know, it was pretty easy after that. And in all honesty, there were a few inventories where I would come here and I wouldn't bring any prayer potions. So when you're looking at that inventory, especially for you Iron Man accounts out there, don't feel obligated to bring prayer potions potions here. I would definitely bring them at demonic gorillas, but these tortured gorillas, you know, they really don't hit as much. Their max hit is only a 13, and with high melee stats like I have on this account, and also with decent gear, I mean, Carol's, Varrock, Whip, that's pretty much as basic as you can get, you should be okay here, even without prayer. So that is something to keep in mind, you know, these tortured gorillas do have occasional shark drops, uh, occasional prayer sip one drops, so if you do happen to land on those, that will just help extend your inventory regardless if you bring supplies of your own or not. Personally, I was getting 50 kills every single trip, and that would be my magic number. As soon as I would get to 50 kills, all of my prayer potions would run out, or if I didn't have any prayer potions, all of my food would run out. So, you know, 50 is a decent number to go for every inventory. And just to answer this question early on, I did do a practice hour where I did nothing but full-on concentration on this account just to see how many kills I could get in an hour and all the XP. And it looks like in one hour, the very most kills I could could pull off was exactly 95 so this could be 100 kills an hour if you are using maybe an arc light or better gear also in one hour I did receive 80k defense XP so you know if you're using a blowpipe here you can probably get some decent range XP so yeah that is the hourly rate you know you multiply that by 10 and you cut out the uh, time that it takes to do the clue scrolls that these tortured gorillas also drop then you can pretty much kill a thousand of these in less than a day if you play all day and of course I was on rune light so all the loot was going to be tracked uh, accordingly because of that and as you can see you know all the drops that these tortured gorillas have are all in this bank tab but the one problem on this Iron Man account that I've had for years is that the bank is always full and I mean it is full of everything and anything you can imagine so since I had all the placeholder drops from these tortured gorillas which essentially is just a lot of seeds a couple alkabols and some runes and a few other things what I did was I took a screenshot of my bank tab before the video started and I took a screenshot at the end of the video, so all the items that I picked up and accumulated, although they would already be stacked up on top of each other, they would all be tracked 100% accurately for the price check. Some new items that entered my bank for the very first time on this account because of this video would be the Rune Javelin Heads and the Dragon Javelin Heads. You do have to complete Monkey Madness 2 in order to receive Javelin Heads as a drop, and especially in order to kill Tortured or Demonic Gorillas. And although Javelin Heads are cool, I really did want to see a rare come into my bank so ask and you shall receive our very first rare of the video and in general in this location uh, which would be the ballista spring which is a one in five thousand drop rate uh, that's the same as the ballista limbs if you're curious the zenite shard as you can see on screen there is only one in three thousand so we did get a rarer drop than the shards that's a little unfortunate but nevertheless uh, it's nice to actually unlock something that I've never had before on this account 
I don't know if I'll ever use this, uh, you know, drop, but maybe in the future one day if I get more pieces, we can make a ballista or, you know, something fancy like that. And a lot of these loot videos, I always say that, you know, the two most important items to bring would be the herb sack and the gym bag, you know, those two infamous things. But luckily, you don't actually need any of those items here. You can, however, bring a bone crusher since you are guaranteed big bones as a drop all the time. And, you know, there is decent prayer XP over time if you kill a thousand or upwards. So, of course, I did bring the uh, bone crusher and I got some free prayer XP. You know, you can't say no to that. The arty cloak was also used. That was my way of getting all of my prayer points back after every single inventory. And then I would just use the royal seed pod to teleport directly back to the bank, bank all my stuff, resupply my inventory, and then simply teleport back to the pod and run north to the gorillas. So banking, you really don't have to worry about too much here. Always nice to see a hard clue scroll. This was the first one of the video, certainly not the last, uh, with a drop rate of 1 in 300. You can expect to get a few clues throughout killing tortured gorillas. They also drop elites, but those are 1 in 1500, so a little bit more rare for that. Of course, you can expect the occasional tooth and loop key. In the very beginning of the video, I did get a long bone, but uh, didn't receive a curve bone throughout this whole one, which is a rate of 5013, so pretty high drop rate for that. But you know what's higher than that? Take one guess. Well, if you guessed monkey tail, you would be correct. 1 in 15,000 for this lovely tail. At a current price of 471k, it's certainly better than the 29k that our last rare was. So yeah, not only did we hit 1 in 5,000 for the ballista spring, but we now have hit 1 in 15,000 for the monkey tail. Still no zenite, but uh, I guess that's one step closer. Maybe a couple steps up, if anything. But yeah, the zenite was the main goal for this video. Although my Iron Man only has the crafting level to almost make a Ring of Suffering. I don't think he can make any other Zenite jewelry right now. That would be the goal, you know, to, you know, get all the Zenites we can before even killing any demonic gorillas, right? That would be great. But that didn't uh, quite happen, at least not at this point. And that's okay, though, because overall, these are so much more laid back than demonic gorillas. You know, there's no annoying boulder hit. Uh, there's no consistent, you know, prayer switching all the time and, uh, you know, weapon switching. You know, in the very beginning of the video, I brought a magic short short bow uh, because I thought that I had to use multiple styles of attack here, but no, you really just need to only use one since they don't pray at all. And yeah, it is unfortunate that the drop rate for the rares are so much more significantly higher than they are at demonic gorillas, but just understand that a lot less effort, a lot less supplies and all that and time will be spent here. So it is a trade-off, but if you do get lucky, it might be a wise trade-off. You never know. So other than the rare drops that we did go over and all the seed drops, they do drop a lot lot of earth runes, cosmic runes, and death runes. You can expect uh, upwards of 400 to 600 earth runes at a time, 20 to 30 cosmics, and 12 to 20 deaths. Death runes are always nice on an Iron Man account, especially cosmics as well for crafting. As it pertains to the alkables, when I first looked up the tortured gorilla, I saw on the drop log on the 07 wiki that they dropped rune medhelms, rune scimitars, rune plate legs, and rune plate skirts. However, after 1,000 kills, I did not receive any rune plate skirts or rune plate legs, so I went to to the OSRS wiki discord and I asked them in there if they knew anything about this and looking at the wiki page now I'm only seeing rune medhelms and rune scimitars so I'm assuming that they probably took the plate legs and plate skirts out from what I remember I think demonic gorillas dropped those but uh, obviously the lower tier gorilla the tortured one does not drop the uh, good alkables more so the less expensive ones they also have a pretty funny drop of one addy bolt I mean I've never seen anything in my life drop one addy bolt I've seen one bronze air Arrow, but not an Addy Bolt. I don't know why they do that. That's so weird. And here I was just rambling on screen like I always do, kind of just explaining how that inventory was done with zero prayer potions and that it is possible. It's not, you know, easier than bringing prayer potions, but it is possible. You can save yourself some supplies there. And yeah, this was actually the last inventory of the video, and I did manage to get uh, two dragon fruit tree seeds almost back to back, as well as a Celestra seed. And I don't actually see the Celestra seed on the 07 wiki, but Every other seed is on there, so that's good. But with all that being said, here we are. Loot from 1,000 Tortured Gorillas has been completed. Unfortunately, no Zenite Shard was acquired, but we did get a few rares and overall two clue scrolls to open. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and do the price check. All these drops were pretty much taken from the screenshot and all the rune light screenshots, which you will see shortly. And the first price check, this is all of the seeds, the coin stack, the prayer seed, 
sips, the herbs, the runes, and the alkables, don't forget about those sharks, does come out to be 3.2 mil. Not bad. Now we move on to the second and final price check. This is all the rares, javelin heads, and gems and bars. This one coming out to be just about 1.3 mil. So overall, 3.2 mil plus 1.3 mil. I'm sure we all know the answer to that. 5.5 mil from 1,000 tortured gorilla. Hour-wise, it only took 11 hours. Uh, we still have two clue scrolls to open, and we did receive two rares and one long bone. So let's see if we can continue the luck with these clues. The first casket, pretty average. Second casket, eh, a little bit above average. The purple sweets will come in handy. Now for the conclusion. So looking at the gravestone, just to confirm our ending KC, we did start with zero. We ended at 1,003. Don't know where the three came from, but yeah, it didn't really come in handy with those Zenites. So at least there's always next time. So with all that being said, guys, thank you very much for watching the video. I really did enjoy this one. Something about the Iron Man account really uh, entertains me. So yeah, there's all the loot on screen. 200 kills there, 100 kills there, 700 kills there. All tracked accordingly for you all. And uh, hopefully that can help some of you guys out who were trying to see if tortured gorillas were worth killing. All right, guys, that's it for now. Uh, I will be uploading another video, hopefully, in two to three days from now. So until then, Mr. No Sleep, out.